Okay, the so this one. is the, the red one. one. The red one, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. The, the black one. Both yeah. of them are still alive, right? You Those are both me. still alive. Yeah, yeah, get in there. This is the owner of the club here in Yonkers. What's your name, sir? Gene DiNapoli. Gene DiNapoli. Oh, guys, this is going to be great. Because right. this is a much better format. Is, is it's actually better. People. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Gene's all over it. Gene's my first rodeo. 40-year <laughs> <laughs> entertainer, Gene. <laughs> What's the club? Let's plug the club. Yeah. Where, where are we where right are now? We? Well, we're at Central Stage on Central Avenue. You, you want to hold the mic a little closer. Sorry, Central yeah. Stage on Central Avenue in Yonkers, New York. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this is a music and comedy and live uh, entertainment venue. Yeah. I love it. Uh, just this week alone, we have uh, a salsa show tomorrow. Oh, wow. A disco show on Friday. <laughs> Hell yes, dude. A black comedy show early <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> I love black comedy. <laughs> a country band Saturday night. <laughs> Sunday afternoon we have a brunch with drag queens. Oh, right. oh that's yeah, a pop oh, Sunday night like we have a show that's dedicated to Woodstock. Yeah. Whoa, hold, that is honestly this is, a wild lineup. That's pretty awesome. Cool. That sounds yeah. fun. Also, dude. it was just Bam Margera and his. I don't know, simpleton friend from Connecticut. Yeah, <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> now that Vinny nice left, rider. we can we can really talk can, some real yeah. shit, can't yeah. we? <laughs> we can make fun of Vinny and his Thrasher hoodie and yeah. Thrasher hat. <laughs> quoting, <laughs> quoting Billy Madison. No, interrupting As a Bam bit. quoting Billy Madison. <laughs> to also quote it. <laughs> <laughs> you seen that show, Big Mouth on uh, Netflix? <laughs> Anyways, uh, real quick. So, so the, when you we got to finish this, yeah, we got to finish this we're, ad, and then we're, 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 we're uh, and then sponsor, we're betdsi.com. Yeah. You a betting man? You bet. You bet. I can't say that in public. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, online sports yeah. betting yeah. is yeah. all <laughs> above <laughs> above board. And when you sign up, you want to make sure you use promo code cum one twenty c u m one twenty so they know we sent you. When you sign up, you got some options. You can just play and cash out. You can take the bonus money, which is like getting a casino comp up front Love before it. you played at the tables. It's got a rollover requirement, but it's free cash. So if you're going to be in the sports book, which is where we, we love, like to gamble. We love being in the sports book. Use promo code COME120, C-U-M-120, up to $1,000. They're going to give mm -hmm. you 60% bonus cash, which will turn $1,000 into 1600 to play with. Free cash, baby. Nice. My Once dad again. was a professional gambler. Really? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He used to travel the world oh, wow. shooting dice. Really? So one day we'd have a million dollars in the house, and the next day we'd be begging for twenty dollars for gas. That's wild. Wow. It was wild, a wild ride. Where'd you grow up? Uh, the Bronx. All right. I still live there. Just I down the road. Day, what? Just down the road. Yeah, I yeah. remember one day coming home from school, and sitting in my living room was Bruno San Martino, Whoa, Mario Lord. Andretti, what? Phil Esposito, and. Uh, uh, Leo DeRocha from the Brooklyn Dodgers. Holy what? Shit. Because in Atlantic City back in the 80s, every casino had like a sports figure, uh -huh, like yeah. as a goodwill ambassador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my father got to know them all, and they That's... came to my house for lunch one day, and I walked in, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, you know, this was a great upbringing as a kid. That's wild. But then I know what what gambling does to you, you know. Sure. So. Mm -hmm. Some I gamble stuff. on business. I've lost yeah. a bunch of money this year. Yeah, gambling. you lost a bunch of money in cryptocurrency. You heard yeah. of that? Yeah, you heard trading. of such a thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, that, it's fun. It's nice. It's nice, but if you want to lose money like that, just give me your money. I'll throw it down the toilet. <laughs> 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 well, you, you got rush. you, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Or you give me five thousand dollars, I give you five hundred tickets to any show you want. Yeah, yeah. you go five hundred tickets, you could go see time, Black Comedy. First time you're up seven thousand dollars, it's like wow, this is pretty cool. You can just print money. But then you're down fourteen thousand. It's like, well, it'll come back. And then you're down thirty two thousand dollars. And it's like, well, I guess I'll just file my taxes. Yeah. yeah. And stop, stop trying. My father yeah, told me yeah. if you really want to hear the machines go off, take a roll of quarters, go to a payphone, put them in and hang up. Yeah. It's the same noise when the coins come out as the you know, so I, I live both sides of the of the okay. coin. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're not a gambling man. No, I gamble no. on business, like I right, said. Right, right. How'd you get into to comedy? Well, when it's not comedy. It's it's an entertain. I'm an entertainer oh, for okay. forty years. Okay. Well, what was, kind of entertainment? Well, you? I was uh, at one time uh, America's youngest Elvis impersonator. Oh, yeah, you when do I was resemble resemble the guy. Yeah, I was fourteen, traveling the country. The world's youngest Elvis impersonator now has to be at least forty-seven years old. I yeah. think so. <laughs> you know, Bruno Mars did Elvis when he was three and four and five. Oh, so oh, he really? beat your record. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. in the eighties yeah. and nineties. But I used to travel the country doing Elvis, and then you know I stayed home and. Uh, mm. I started doing the Blues Brothers. Okay. I'm okay. an entertainer. I work every weekend in cool. different restaurants and casinos. And then I became an actor about three years ago. Nice. And I did a, a couple of bit mafia parts and right. detective parts in the shows. Okay. What's your, your favorite role? Anything we've what? seen? What's, What's your shows? favorite role? 
Uh, you know what? I'm doing a horror movie right now, and it's it's called Demon Nun, and I play a detective. Wow. Yes. And that's pretty cool, because I get to be nasty with the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have legal really... behind me. Yeah. You know, so I can say whatever the fuck did I you want. Go, yeah. Did you go out for the Sopranos prequel? You know what? I'm not going to tell you I did. Uh, my name was thrown in the hat. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. I'm probably the only Italian-American entertainer in New York that yeah. was never on the original Sopranos. Yeah. I know. Because... They offered me a small part, but it wasn't speaking. And I thought I was yeah. bigger than that. And I said, no, I need a speaking part. Right. And, yeah. you know, they pushed me under the rug, but yeah. I'm happy with my career. Uh-huh, yeah, I sure. feel like there, there had to have been 30 million people that went out for the yeah. Sopranos prequel. You know, I will tell you that uh, three years ago when I started, uh, I beat out 4,500 actors to play John Gotti's friend Angelo. Oh, in Gotti? a show called Kingpin. That oh, was on Kingpin. Channel. And they flew me to Bogota, South America, for Hell 12 days. yeah. Carte Blanche. And that was the first thing I ever went out for. Wow. wow. So, so you so were spoiled. You're in I'm that. spoiled. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but you've been in the game 40 years, you know. Yeah, but not, not acting. acting. Not acting. But, but you know, you know when I made a living as Elvis, and I look nothing like Elvis. Yeah. You know, only for the black hair and the sideburns and the jumpsuit. Uh-huh. Somebody said, hey, you've been acting all your life. You just didn't know it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So the, the mafia roles come Channel very easy between. because I'm, I guess mm-hmm. I'm a street kid from the Bronx. Sure. Mm-hmm. I know how to talk. I know how to. You know, right. mm-hmm. shake but, someone down. If yeah, I can do what I got to do. I feel like yeah. that probably the, the sweet spot for that kind of stuff was like the early 90s. I feel like it that was, genre you know, kind of died out. Well, what died out? The, the, the like mafioso genre. Well, it did, but you know, there's a new thing called The Irishman now. Yes. yes. Yeah, so I got a very, 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 very small part in that. Uh-huh. Uh, and that was actually given to me. Cause That's I was the on one that De Niro and Pacino were in those dumb costumes. Well, they go, yeah, they had a, yeah, why were they dressed like that? They well, got those because, high-ass shoes. Because the guy that De Niro plays was actually 6'2". I was in a room this big. People can't see it, but what do you think it's like? Yeah. Ten foot room? Yeah. yeah. I was in a room with De Niro, Whoa. Pesci, Whoa. Pacino, uh-huh. Harvey Keitel, Holy Robert shit. Con- Bobby Carnival, yes. uh-huh. and uh, Scorsese. That's crazy. Yeah. It was, and there was only four of the guys like me, which were non-stars. Uh-huh. And I looked over to one guy and said, yo, how the fuck did we get here, man? There's like, <laughs> there's like 900 guys out there. Wow. That guy was like, well, I was an Elvis in person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you know, I figured, you know, get into the nightclub business. Yes, yeah. Uh, I it, love the club. Beautiful club. Yeah, this yeah. is great, man. Maybe we could do something here. It's, yeah, honestly, it's yes. a great venue. It's not yeah. a bar. Yeah, it's not a uh, upscale show. It's right in the middle. It's fun. Mm-hmm. People come here, mm-hmm. they drink a little bit. It's not high price tickets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you go to the city, you're getting forty dollars for parking, seventy five dollars a ticket, fifteen dollars mm-hmm. a drink. We're not like that. Yeah. Right. You know, and like I said, we run the gamut of shows. We have 40 shows in 30 days. Right. Oof. And it's all on the website. May I plug the website? Uh, please do. Absolutely. CentralStageNY.com. Hell yeah. And Bam was here last night. And for, you know, the first night of the tour, we had a pisser, man. Yeah. It was great. It's yeah. great, man. People came from Connecticut and uh, Yonkers and the Bronx and New Jersey. And I hope we get enough support to keep it going. Yeah. yeah. So it's new. It's a new. It's a no, new. We're venue. only open four months. Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully right. this will give you a little boost. We got little a. Boost. We got a good oh. listenership. Well, that's I great. Think. Yeah. You know, Let's website. talk. Maybe we could. Maybe we could produce something here. Yeah. yeah. Do a show in Yonkers, boys. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? Do a stand-up show up here. Yeah. I thought about buying a house in Yonkers. Did you? Yeah. I mean, uh, we're we're, right well, we're both in Bed Stuy now. Yeah. yeah. We're area. in Brooklyn. Yeah. So it's, no. It's hopping. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, we got downtown Yonkers. Uh-huh. They're building up restaurants. Well, you still live in the Bronx? You yeah, said? I'm in the Bronx. My wife works at a local hospital, uh-huh. so it doesn't make sense. For, and we got no kids, so it doesn't make sense for me to go to a better neighborhood with schools because we can't take advantage of the school system. Right. Mm-hmm. And then with my gigs, I hit any bridge, George Washington, Frog's Neck, Connect. I'm a half hour from anywhere I got to do my gigs. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I move up here, you know, it's a... Now, when you were a young entertainer, were you also a married man, or did you... Were no, there... I got married later in life. I was okay. 32. You must have been a, a hound dog out uh, there. The Elvis. Yeah. Uh, Some nice pieces of pussy out uh, there. <laughs> you know, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Had a nice time. You know, I'm, I'm no Brad Pitt or Leo DiCaprio, but... No, but Elvis. you're on stage, there you're things, Elvis. There were three things that had the girls flocking. <laughs> yes. Did you ever fuck a woman that afterwards they realized you weren't 
Elvis. No. <laughs> no. I wasn't going to let you bump over to the ball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> women gravitate to me and the guys in the band. Yeah. Well, we were Italian. Uh, yes. We were from New York. Of course. And I did Elvis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the Midwest and far, we were You're gods. exotic. Yeah. We were yeah. gods. The yeah. triple threat. You know, we used to <laughs> walk in the nightclubs. You know, Italian from New yes. York. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We used to walk in the nightclubs and it was like you know, the gates of heaven would open. <laughs> That's the best. Really? Dude. Really? You know, it gets Those old hat Midwest girls. Years. Sure. But see, here's yeah. the thing, man. Like, the Scorsese should do a movie about the Elvis impersonators. That sounds Operating fascinating, in honestly. Atlantic, in the fucking in the Midwest. The Midwest. Yeah. Or the Midwest or wherever. I mean, it's just like... Well, there's that's a lot a of more, documentaries on it, you know, Elvis impersonators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And but that's an interesting... What you just said is really story. interesting. Yeah, 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 somebody should option something. Let's yeah. write that movie. Let me write the book and then... I had a, a friend of mine write a reality show about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Called The King of New York. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. And it was supposed to follow me for my day-to-day -day activities. I used to own a couple of businesses like laundromats and pizzerias. Okay. Uh -huh. And then I, we'd go back and at night we'd do a big show. Cool. And we were, we were pitching it and... They didn't think it would sell, and I said to the guy, "Listen, we got the biggest demographics in the world: Elvis fans, yep, uh -huh. New York fans, and <laughs> Italian, Italian fans. fans. That's right. And you know, the Sopranos. <laughs> at that, at the height of that, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. you know, it fell to the wayside, but they're trying to pitch it again. Yeah, you know, I'm, I fuck. If we could produce it, we would, we would watch the shit out of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it was Sounds fun. It great. was fun. It got to a point where we were telling girls and women we were staying at the ramada yeah when we were actually at the hilton yeah because we'd walk in our room and there'd be like two girls in the bathtub waiting Ooh. for us they would break into the room <laughs> yeah they break into the room <laughs> yes yeah that yeah. rules Damn. Damn. That's Should we become mom, Elvis in person? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, just sucking off an Elvis in person <laughs> in a through his jumpsuit yeah. in the Ramada. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. That's sick. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. That's great. That's yeah, beautiful, man. It was a fun life. God, I'm, I, I wish I, I wish I, had I used to be in the Elvis when I was a child, actually. Oh yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. 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 I was like a, a rockabilly. little rockabilly kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Used to be Back in the day. When I was a little kid, I was no, like, I was, a, I was obsessed with Elvis. Looking at this guy, you think he's thank you. years you old? Think, yes, I'm youthful. <laughs> this looks like he, a 25. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I have youthful energy. He's completely bald and looks like a two. <laughs> he's wearing sweatpants, red yeah, sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Well, that's only because we're pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah. Like a five dollar hookup <laughs> in Bed Stuy. Thank you. He's very shout out to Bed Stuy. Very young. Yeah, in my heart. I guess he's not my young energy. So you're not young. Yeah. And your large heart. No, no, no. Rockabilly guy? No, when I was when I was like a baby, I was just obsessed with Elvis. Elvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Elvis. That goes yeah. with a lot of people. It's, yeah, it was great. Yeah, Were you great a fan music. of Elvis? Yeah, I was a fan since I'm five. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was oh. a closet Elvis. You know, I used to sing in my bedroom. And then one day my uncle owned a restaurant about a half a mile from here. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, uh, you want to get up and sing? And I was like, yeah. So we got up. We did some standard and I turned to the band and I said, uh, you guys know Blue Suede Shoes? Mm -hmm. And they go, yeah. I said, well, I want to sing it. And I was 14. Yeah. And he goes, well, we can't tell him no. That's the boss's nephew. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And I did like three songs. I made like $400 in tips. Wow. And I thought great. it was great, but they were mm -hmm. throwing money at me because my uncle owned of the course. restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. mother was the co check girl. Right. So I got up the next morning. I thought I was like, you know. Yeah, I famous. thought I was like Myra Alonza. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I came down in the bathroom with a towel, you know, around my uh -huh. neck. And my mother said, uh, throw out the garbage. I said, excuse me, I'm a. Train the star. <laughs> Pow! She hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought the I, br I brought the garbage right out. <laughs> so my mother, my mother kept me grounded. Yes, of you course. Know, you go out and do your shows and make your money. Yeah. Sunday morning, you're getting up, you're doing your chores. Of course. I was like, all right, you know. Good woman. Good great. woman. Yeah. So. Uh, Damn. Yeah, it was a fun life, and yeah. I wonder. You know, I wonder, like, why is it just Elvis though that people? How did that? Where did the impersonations of Elvis start? He's such an iconic. Person, you know what I mean? No, I think, I think it's the fact that he was a nobody that became somebody. Mm -hmm. And he loved his mother. He loved God. He loved, he loved <laughs> his country. Yes. You know, in the height of his career, he got drafted. Right. And he could yeah. have opted out and said, listen, I make the government $5 million a year in taxes. Leave me out of the service. Yeah. He felt it was his duty to go in. So when he did that, he got all the adults mm -hmm. to like him. Right. Sure. So I think he was the first child, teenager, and adult performer that everybody liked. Mm, interesting. I can Span understand it, like transcending like generational interests, but like why 
why is he the guy when you think of like celebrity impersonators elvis is the go-to why not yeah. and, well because it never really caught on with anybody else so think about it there aren't that many what did like elvis have he had a voice Sure, a look. looks. Need a look. Looks. Yeah, yeah. So handsome man. Like almost yeah. a costume that was. But people don't do it. Well, I guess there is Michael like, impersonating. Yeah, there There's is Michael. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, My, for, and yeah. for females, it's Marilyn. Yeah, yeah. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. And then yeah. she's not even a singing star. Yeah, right. right. She's more yeah. of a movie star. Sure. But mm. there are things that make Elvis yeah. iconic. I you heard she was. Uh, she's actually doing it big. No, Marilyn Monroe. You got her in the bathroom? Because <laughs> fat women online like to say, yeah, you know, a couple years ago, size 20. The <laughs> anniversary of her death, like there was a thing that women online were like, oh, when she died, Marilyn Monroe was 215 pounds or whatever. And it's like, that's, yeah. it's not. Doesn't everybody <laughs> blow up when they die? I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you right. die in a bathtub, yeah. 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 So, you know, it is, and, and Michael. You know, I mean, you're talking about legendary performers, uh, sure. Sinatra, and sure. you know the Beatles. Sure. You know, there's never going to be anybody from this era, uh -huh. 50 years from now, that's going to be imitated the way it, it is. Well, our heroes now are are Bam. Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, I would ba say. Yeah, Bam. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Have you met him before? Were you hanging out no, with him throughout the week? Well, last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know who he was before? Oh, yeah. he did the show sure. from he's, the TV show. He's big. He's yeah, big. he's big. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I sat home and watched it. Uh -huh. I saw clips, but, you know, I was a working entertainer. I didn't watch much TV. Uh -huh. right? You know, I used to go home and throw v VHS tapes, which you don't even know what those are. Yeah. I know what they yeah. are. No, we've jacked off the VHS tapes. We're older off. than we yeah. look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're 30. Yeah, yeah. but to have Bam here was, uh, I had Artie Lang here a few weeks ago. Cool. Oh, great. Artie's great. Then we had some older legendary guys like Jackie the Joke Man, Mark Sure, Lane, Jackie, yep. Mm -hmm. Nick DiPaolo, who's oh, one of Oh, yeah. yeah. He was here DePaulo a few weeks ago. Yeah. But we got, you know, we got up-and-comers. Yeah. We have people that are popular, and we have people that are pop were popular 20, 30 years from mm -hmm. yeah. before. Mm -hmm. and we give them the, the showcase in the venue and say, hey, you think you... Let's do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's put it out there to the masses. That's great, and, you know, man. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, we're doing all right with that. Yeah. yeah. And we ever get a on it. How long have you been in the spot? Four months. Oh, okay. You ever do Elvis here? No, I'm not allowed. I, I work at the casino. By oh, my own way. contractually, so, uh, yeah, you're not, not allowed. allowed to do yeah. my own <laughs> show. The casino also does comedy though don't, don't they? Oh, they do everything yeah 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 Yeah, they they do it and i'm contracted by them because i play there four or five times a year nice so i can't play in the area right they right, have, right. You, they have a, a non-compete sure. for elvis in person for, well for any tribute act they booked on a thursday there's a non-compete for this area because wow. they're not going to pay you the money that you ask and then have you work two blocks away right yeah. right right mm -hmm. Un unfortunately Fortunately, I'm there. Right. Unfortunately, my club is only a mile away. Is there? Have, have you ever had like? Can we get a little Elvis? Can you do? Yeah. yeah. Can we go? What, what is this? Does this? I, I don't want to violate your oh, non-compete. Oh, oh. If this. Well, this that's a show, baby. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm allowed to talk anywhere I want. Yes. But I can't do a show. Uh -huh. can, a wait, miles. can you do Elvis saying s instead of in the same way he says thank you very much, but suck me very dick? <laughs> yeah. That's a good joke yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we go out on suck me joke. very dick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make, that would make this. That would make our day. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> no, come on. I, I, come on. I, I respect this. I, uh, it's disrespectful yeah. to the yeah. king. I, 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 that would be disrespectful. To Elvis? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I Suck me very dick. <laughs> That's almost better. Anyways. That's almost better. Yeah, it is better. I that is better. But man, I wish I could I go back. I will you very much. I yeah, wish yeah. I could go back 40 years <laughs> and give you the advice of telling you to say that to the groupies. Yeah. <laughs> As a young Elvis suck me very dick, and me as like a time traveling, possibly mentally disabled man coming to you and saying, "Listen, you gotta say suck me very dick when you're getting blown in Duluth <laughs> in the Hilton, in the Ramada, in the Hilton, in the Ramada yeah. with the door kicked down." <laughs> With a high heel print with a, the handle After used these to be. bitches have scaled the third floor <laughs> to suck you off. <laughs> I love it. Well, That's thank great. you. This is great. Yeah, this thank is, you this so is much. This is the highlight thanks of the show. Yeah. 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 It was better than the beginning. It was, yeah. 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 It was too chaotic. It was, but too it was chaotic. fun. Yeah, we had a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam was talking about his... in the same room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam was talking about his wife's pussy. Yeah, yeah. 